Hey up everyone, right, I'm going to get on with the pulling the electric soon. There's a few things, first, pole cutting bit, wood cutting bit, whatever it is, flat bit, that goes in the drill, combi drill. I'm going to, this is electric, this is light, uh, sorry, this is sockets, this is lighting, obviously. I'm going to drill through 20 mil hole, through each one of these, I'm going to send this, in a loop around so the first place i want to send it is through here i'm going to clip it across that we've got here for 2.5 show you these these are 2.5 mil clips um i'm going to clip them across on the timber down to this wall first put myself a socket on there then i've got a 2.5 mil cable that's for your sockets send that all the way across bring it down then make another section off that to come back up and round in fact to be fair i could send it straight round like that and come up and come up everywhere um might save me a, it may save me quite a lot of cable actually to do it that way because Yes, I'll, I'll do that. I'll come all the way around the bottom and come up because this is coming up from behind the worktops rather than run it across the ceiling. And then when I get back to this point here where I've got my last socket for the washer, I'll bring the cable back up through here, across through there, well, or across just across this ceiling here, you've got your ring, and that is a ring main, so you loop it all the way around, pick up all these sockets, and then go back to that. Uh, and with the lighting, go into a hole next to it, pull a cable off that way, and then bring my light cable all the way down here, and leave out two cables to pick up each spotlight. So, that's what drill all the holes all everywhere first, show you that, and then I'll start pulling the cable through and I'll show you that. Okay, now that I've been round, drilled all the holes, this is what it looks like without the cable. One for the power, one for the light. The light comes across here, across there, through this hole and this hole, so I can drop a spotlight in here or in here. And that's the row of the spots. This will get clipped to this one. And I'll keep putting two cables out to each one. Same with there. Straight through. And then down into this last one. So I can get all my spots through that central section. Then, as for the power, the power comes from this one. Clip across there little hole there in round through here through this hole that I've punched in down through there into this section maybe put a socket in there and I'm going to go across through that one through that one through that one and so on you get the gist through here run it all the way around which I can then drop in through this section Pull a cable up the back of here because I've turned the three v twos this way to fix the base units in. When I, when the base units come back, they'll fix into this. But the cable can come run straight up here into a plasterboard box. That's what I'm using. So I don't need to put any boxes back to this plasterboard box. Straight back down, in through here, and then into another plasterboard box, which will go in there. Send the cable back down and across into this middle fridge freezer socket, as you can see, fridge and freezer. Straight out the side of that one, across, all the way. And then from this section, I'll run up behind this, so I don't have to drill it. Plasterboard, box, back box, back down, across, back up, Plasterboard back box and I'll go back down and there'll be a socket in there for the washing machine 
straight back up. In fact, it'll go straight into this one, into that socket, up into the next socket, and then straight up across the ceiling. Uh, I'm just going to run this cable across the top of these, back in through there, and that makes the loop. That's the return. So, 2.5mm cable already from the last job in the workshop. So, let's see how far this gets us. How much have I got there? Uh, 50 meters. Can't remember how much it was. But I'm going to start pulling it. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to leave plenty of cable this side. I'll leave probably a meter's worth of cable hanging down so that when this sparky gets here, he's got plenty to work with. And the only tool you need for this job is a decent set of cutters. I've just bought these £20 from Tool Station C, K. It'll be just the job. Okay, everyone, so the electrics are all in. The electrician's just been to check and make sure everything's right. Um, I don't need to run through it again, but I will. Light, light cables there. We're going to have a junction box here for this um, to power that. That's what it's saying. Then spot, spot, spot. These are just left long so they can be cut at a later date once the boards are on spot 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 six spots then we've got the power cable 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 socket 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 done now we move on to water for the washing machine so what i've got here in fact yeah that, i'm going to do the water in this video at the same time We've got JG Speed Fit. <coughs> this is the system we're using. Push Fit. Um, JG Speed Fit, or whatever it's called. Get it from. JG Speed Fit, yeah, so. Get it from uh, Speed Fix or other Plymouth merchants. It's basically, it's dead easy. All you get is. You want to get yourself some inserts. Whatever albums you need, all your fittings. You take one of these inserts, I'll open them up now so you can see it. These are about just over a tenner for a bag of 50. Uh, 15 mil, that's what we're using, 15 mil pipe. So make sure your inserts match up to the right diameter of pipe that you've got. That will go into the end of the pipe. Like that. You push that down into there and then the speed fit over the end, push it down, twist the collar, and that's it. Job done. Um, and that's up, and that's literally all it is. So what I've done is I've got myself a 20 mil drill bit SDS on there, cheap one, Erbawi. That's 12 quid. Drill straight through the wall to where. I've got my original washer, which is there. I'll shove a pipe right through underneath. I've got a, a, a under the sink there is all my connections. So I'll connect that up after, but what I'll do is I'll just do it in here first. Run it up there, so it'll run up the wall, through these holes that I've got, straight the way across, down behind the stud, through this one, here, and then just down behind this, and I've bought a show you what it is now 15 mil to three quarter appliance tap, which is I'll open it up. I can get it open for you. It's the same as an isolation valve, basically. So the push fit goes into the back and your washer, pipe or dishwasher, whichever one, will screw onto the front of that and you can see straight through it, if I turn it, that'll close the valve, let's give it a turn, there you go, valve closed.
And this plastic stuff really is just the job. Uh, I've done, I did it all for my bathroom upstairs when I did that. Uh, and, and I'll use it in here as well because it's just that easy, you don't need a plumber. All you've got to do is make sure you turn everything on. What I have got is, uh, inside the kitchen, I bought a tea with a three quarter on for the washer because I need, I'm going to change this washing machine in here for a dishwasher. I've got the dishwasher already. The dishwasher is sitting up there, ready to go in. So that'll be changed for a dishwasher in here. And this will go into here. So that one is put in behind there because that is just a single at the minute. So we'll have the pipe that runs straight through, straight through the wall out here, fast flow straight up uh, and that is in what in one day you can do your I'll, I'll show you after I fitted the uh, plumbing but that's your electrics and plumbing done in one day so you can get your insulation done and your warding done and then I've got my kitchen coming on Tuesday or Wednesday 12 and I'll start shoving all the kitchen in there dead easy that's the water ready to go up there, across, down behind, and it's there waiting with the washer tap on. It's me. What's wrong with you? And that's and that's everything. So tomorrow now I'll pick up some boards and I'll get to get boarding. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't. Don't mind it, just watch the next one.